gone through an entire day without the girl having an emergency and having to leave. Dude, here's what you do. You wait till like 2 or 3 in the morning and then you share that you up text. Yikes! Don't do that, Then Don't do that. Don't even listen to that. You just gotta be a natural, real human being. Be genuine and call her. Tell her you had a good time and ask her if she just wants to hang out with you again. Okay. That's a good idea. I'll do that right now. It's ringing. I went to voicemail and I panicked. Well, shit, dude. Voicemail is easy. Girls are easy. I get voicemails all the time from girls. Especially after I leave them on red or I ignore their calls. You just have to show them your soft side and uh, assert your dominance. I mean, all right, here's what you're gonna say. Grab a pen and paper, okay? Should be charging for this service. Okay? You're gonna say, hey baby, it's Zan the man. Remember when that date earlier this evening? I'm just gonna do some push-ups and, uh, I don't know, I figured I could skip working out tonight and maybe hang out with a special someone, you know? <laughs> do you wanna be that special someone? I mean, maybe we'll get a pizza or see a movie. I mean, just listen. You can't be serious. Whoa, 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 just listen, okay? It gets better. There's plenty of other girls I could reach out to that would love to get a response from me. And, I mean, like you're probably not even doing anything this weekend. And we'll Actually, I hear it's here not doing anything this weekend, so why don't you just come over? No, 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 no. That may have worked freshman and sophomore year for college Alex, but we're graduating, Zan. We're going to the real world. Girls don't respond to that. Okay, Zan, scoot down if you want some real advice. Come on. First of all, the only key is to be yourself. Shoot out with you for a reason. Be genuine. You wouldn't know the first thing about being genuine. Could we see his Tinder profile? Six foot four, D1 athlete, dog lover, and connoisseur of fine wines. He doesn't even like dogs. And what sport do you play here? <laughs> I don't know. Don't be that guy. Whoa, whoa, baller. whoa. Okay. The system's worked out for me plenty of times in the past. Worked how? I've never seen you here with the same girl more than once. <laughs> Quantity over quality, my friend. Zan, this is what you're gonna say when you call her. You're gonna ask her if she made it home safe, show that you care, and then talk about the date a little bit. Bonus points if you can reminisce about a specific thing you guys talked about. And then you're gonna to ask her to hang out again. Give her a date suggestion. My go-to, ice skating. Three reasons why. First reason, Everyone holds hands with the ice skate, so it's not weird if you do. Second reason, set them out of time. You don't have to feel weird about it dragging on forever. Third reason, once you ice skate, you get kind of tired. If it's going great, ask her to go out and eat. Perfect three right there. But like I said, do you. Go on your date. Just be genuine. <coughs> All right, guys. That was a lot of good information. I'm gonna go take all this in and think about it in my room, and I'll come leave the voicemail out here. Okay guys, I got it. Be quiet. Hey Ashley, this is Xander. Just wanna let you know I had a great time on our date tonight, and I would love to see you again. I think we should go away. For you, I would love to hear from you. Bye bye. Way to go, Zan! Very well put, Xander. Oh, she's calling me back. Hey, Ashley. Uh, dude. 
I think she might have given you the wrong number. That voicemail kind of gave me the chills, though. Hello? Hello?